Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a Noah video on the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the best six brawlers for Brawl Ball. Of course, before we do jump into it, make sure you use the code Tom. If you figured anything up in the shop, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already because 61% of you guys are not subscribed. And let's get right into it. Okay, so jumping in at number six then, of course, we have Spike. Spike is so good against so many different lanes in Brawl Ball. Uh, like we have the M's, the Tara, the Sandy, anything like that. And honestly, Spike is a really good uh, counter to all of them because he does outrange them. Um, and is particularly good on maps like Sneaky Fields, Super Stadium, stuff like that. Just your average brawl maps. He's going to be a really good lane. Nice goal here to start things off. Um, but yeah, Spike, definitely one of my favorite brawlers to play uh, in terms of brawl ball. I'm going to be using the fertilized star power right here. But yeah, obviously, probably the curb will going to be the better star power most of the time. Shelly Super coming through here. I don't know if we can stop this one. We actually can. Uh, but yeah, most of the time, curb ball, you know, your enemy is not going to be able to dodge it. And it's going to be a very cheesy way to kind of win lane. But yeah, let's go ahead, put our super down here. That's going to be a... Very, very weak Surge. Surge going to be going down. Shelly going to be destroying our teammates here. This map, by the way, is... Uh, it's not my favorite Brawl map. Let's say that. Uh, because you could just run into the corner. Like, what is this mod is doing? Uh, you could just, like, corner the ball. Um, and then... I don't know. Just keep it there. With Whether it's like a Gale Twister, a Spike Super. It's so easy to kind of keep the ball there. We're going to go ahead. Super this. Uh, looks like, okay, we do going to be able to get a ton of heals there. But we still went down even though we were getting healed by two different Supers. Um, which is a little bit annoying there. But nevertheless, we should be able to win this. We got off to a really good start here. Tara's uh, playing pretty well there. As I say that, looks like he does uh, miss a pull. Of course. <laughs> Looks like we just cornered ourselves here. Mortis is going to be pushing. We're going to put this super down. And it's going to allow us to heal up quite a bit here. And uh, kind of, yeah, keep us alive there. So definitely some nice value there for us. Tara super. He's looking. He's looking right here. But he doesn't really want to use it on a surge or a Mortis. Because they can both kind of... Uh, they can like both dodge it very very easily looks like mortis gonna go for it here doesn't quite get it but we can put our super or gadget down here uh should be able to score and that's gonna be a wrap in this one okay so coming in at number five then we have ems ems is of course really good against lanes like tara sandy any tanks and uh, stuff like that and i definitely felt like ems is one of the best brule ball Rulers, uh, really, really strong. Good HP, really good damage, and an over, overall, just a really, really strong ruler. Looks like, okay, maybe we can actually score this here. Gonna go ahead, knock the, knock the Mr. P, but I think we knocked him into the wall, and uh, we could still kind of stop the stop the goal there. That's a bit unfortunate. Uh, nevertheless, here, we're gonna try and uh, see if we can get out of the spawn. This map is uh, this map's very, very annoying, to be honest. It's uh, particularly hard to kind of get out of spawn, particularly hard to score. And overall, just not really a fun experience, in my opinion, anyway, playing this map. Looks like Tara's going to get two double pulls there, but we're about to get super, so we should be able to kind of pinch this Tara in. Tara is going to be going down here with one more shot. We actually traded there. Probably should not have traded. Probably should have been able to stay alive. Rico super. Rico's really good on here if you don't have a thrower. Uh, like, if we don't push out right now, we're going to end up just getting triple killed. So we, we need to push out right here. Looks like, okay, Rico getting one. We should be okay, though. Looks like Mortis dashing into some walls, but almost picking up a double kill there. Okay, there's no way they can score this. We're just going to go around here uh, and pinch them in. Really nice spike super. That's going to be the kill on Mr. P. We're about to knock that Tara back. Tara actually is super weak right here. It's going to get super, but it's going to go down as well. Rico is a really good option on this map, but uh, not not in general, I would say. Not in general for Brawl Ball. Uh, we do need... If we had a wall break, it'd be a lot, a lot more helpful on this map, to be honest, because this map... Uh, as I said, it's very, very tough to score. Mr. P super going to be wasted there. Rico going to be trying to keep his back. Uh, Tara going to be pushing up. Nice super there. We're actually going to get supered, but can get the kill. And that is luckily going to be a goal in this one here. 45 seconds left. This should be a GG. <laughs> I mean, hopefully it's a GG. But uh, yeah, we got a couple more seconds before it's a GG here, to be honest. Needs to dodge his Mr. P shots a little bit better. But, you know, we're, we're getting the hang of it. Anyway. Uh, Rico gonna be healing up there. Just gonna be pushing up because Mr. P can't really deal too much damage. Looks like that is gonna be a kill right there. We need to back off because Tara is gonna be pushing. But it looks like this could be a wrap in the first one. Uh, even when we didn't have the best matchups. I mean, Tara's a good matchup, but the other two are not really so much. Um, but we do manage to get some uh, good value. And it uh, looks like we're about to pick up a win in this one. We are probably going to go down here. Rico going to be going down as well. Mortis is going to be able to score. Making it 2-0. Wrapping it up for this one. Okay, so jumping in to the next one. And number four, we have Ruffs. Ruffs, of course, the dog brawler. Uh, is going to be very, very good in terms of a lane. 
uh, in Brawl the Ball. Of course, Fang putting in some work there. Nice from our Fang. Uh, but yeah, like everything's amazing. He's the best support brawler in the game right now, I would say. Just such a strong lane. Uh, really high damage. Decent range, but also the ability to break up the map. And also the ability to kind of give your teammates those uh, supers is definitely really, really helpful. Going to give them more damage and also more HP as well. It looks like, okay, Colt going to give Primo the ball. Nice from Primo to recognize that if you just pass it up there, that's going to be an open goal for me. Um, uh, that's going to be a nice goal to start things off here. So definitely well played from our Primo. Mort is going in, but it's probably going to go down. Okay, going to pop our gadget here. We need to dodge kind of well here in order to survive. But it looks like, okay, Mort is going in. We didn't have any ammo but we do manage to take him out eventually here um okay they're gonna try and maybe push this but we have two aggro here really nice play from our fang fang as you see picked up that upgrade they're gonna be dealing a little bit uh more damage but also has more hp as well looks like uh, these guys might have given up here but primo just going straight in looks like uh, mortis going down I'm gonna chuck this here that's gonna be an easy goal to wrap things up in this one okay coming in at number three then we have max max is amazing in brawl ball um just because she has that speed and also deals an amazing amount of damage really good against like any thrower comps but also just good when paired with pretty much every single lane in the game but particularly those aggressive rulers like bang daryl uh something like a sandy could also work and also an ems as well uh, max can definitely work with nice goal to start things off here early from my teammates um, but yeah, Max is just, I feel like, one of the best mids and uh, one of the best well-rounded brawlers for Brawl Ball right now. Just really, really solid. Uh, we're going to go ahead and push this, but it looks like, okay, Colette's going to be super weak right here. Jackie going to be going in, uh, but probably going to end up going down. Okay, we're gonna, we, we sh this should be an easy goal here. We're going to do a little, I don't know, a little bit of <laughs> Max here. I don't know what we did there. Anyway, that's going to be a goal. Let's get into the best two brawlers or Brawl Ball right now okay now jumping in at number two we have fang of course fang is the best aggressive brawler in the game right now and an absolute beast in brawl ball of course gonna be even better against the matchups like throwers and weaker brawlers like piper brock and stuff like that but honestly overall fang is one of the best brawlers in the game fang is an absolute beast right now looks like we actually conceded that not really sure how we got two people in the goal and we still conceded uh, looks like something to do with the cult gadget maybe there uh but yeah we're gonna have to go in let's go ahead and stun both of these guys right here that stun is so so good uh but yeah okay that's just gonna be an easy stun for gal every time you see that gal super and there's one person in goal or even two people in goal it's gonna be an easy goal you just super them and shoot and that's gonna be a pretty uh easy goal there there to start things off but it looks like okay rico super here I'm gonna wait for them to get a little bit weak and then uh, we can actually go in we can just pass the ball up here Actually going to super in, going to stun him. He's going to go down, and that's going to be a goal here. Uh, pretty comfortable game with Fang. Let's get into the best brawler for Brawl Ball right now. Okay, so number one, we have Gale. Gale is so, so good against aggressive brawlers, but also, I just felt like in general, uh, like for Brawl Ball, like there's just nothing better than a Gale because you have that stun. You also have that uh, gadget to kind of help you out in different matchups. But it looks like, okay, we should be able to score this. We're actually going to go ahead, push the BB back. And that's the main reason the Gale is so good because you have that stun, which means that if there's anyone in the goal, you're going to have to score because you could just stun them. You could just stun them and then shoot uh like even better than the sandy gadget okay looks like bull just gonna charge straight through there we're gonna stun these guys and uh <laughs> that's gonna be an easy goal here to wrap things up in the final one okay guys that's gonna wrap it up for the video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace